Hey, busy educator, if you're like me, you have tons of books you want to read, very little time. The best way to do it, audiobooks. In this video, I'm going to show you my free audiobook hack. So basically all you need for this hack is the overdrive app. Now I know a lot of you have the audible app and audible is great. But like I said, $15.99 a month for audiobooks, that's a lot. That's a lot. You want to listen to my audiobook now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And I really like listening to audiobooks, but I don't like spending $15.99 a month. So that's why I use Overdrive. <laughs> Overdrive is awesome. Now, you will need two things. Two things you will need in order to um, successfully complete this hack. One is a library card. And quite frankly, if you're an educator and you don't have a library card, shame. Shame. Is there a bell we can ring? It's like a Game of Thrones reference. But in any case, <laughs> so make sure you take care of that. That's kind of an easy hack. And I mean, come on, what kind of educator doesn't have a library card? Really? Okay, so you've got your library card and now the rest is all downhill because using the OverDrive app, you can find your local library and select from the many books that they have to offer. And this is a great way to help us up our leadership game and work on our own personal professional development. Now, the one bad side is that sometimes the books you want the most might not be available and your library might not have that audiobook. But the great thing with the OverDrive app is that you can recommend books and when you do when they become available they are automatically downloaded into the app for you to download and borrow now again who doesn't want free books audiobooks and even ebooks and that's the great thing with the overdrive app because you also have access to ebooks so it's just a great easy app that a lot of people might not be aware of and might not be taken advantage of, but it is a great way to up your leadership game as you dig into and read and be responsible for your own professional development. That's just one hack I use. What's a hack that you use that helps you as an educational leader with your professional development? I would love it if you share it with me in the comments. I would love to share it with others as we all continue to grow as school leaders and up our leadership game so that we can help develop tomorrow's leaders. If this kind of hack and any other things that have to do with school leadership are of interest to you, please consider subscribing to the channel or giving us a thumbs up. Hey, even if you don't have time, no worries. We'll be here and we'll be creating video to help you as a leader develop tomorrow's leaders.